we present how I warp your noise, a temporally correlated noise prior for diffusion models. Consider the task of image super resolution with diffusion models. Existing methods are able to obtain impressive results by taking as input a low resolution image combined with one or more Gaussian noise samples. But how can we repurpose image-to-image -image diffusion models to also work with temporal data, such as videos? For that, we can stack a set of noise samples in the time dimension. However, without taking any special care, the noise used in each frame will be independently sampled, which can yield undesirable flickering artifacts. Alternatively, one can reuse the same set of noises for all the frames. While this improves the temporal stability, it also creates noticeable texture sticking artifacts which compromise visual quality. By warping the added noise with the motion extracted from the video, we can create a noise sample that moves along with the content of the frames. Our method is able to accurately warp noise samples, augmenting diffusion models to produce temporally coherent results in a zero-shot manner. While the idea is simple, Warping a Gaussian noise presents some challenges. A discrete Gaussian noise sample is an image such that pixels are normally distributed with unit variance and independently sampled, meaning that image pixels are spatially uncorrelated. Naively warping the noise using standard approaches destroys both of these properties. This is because in traditional warping, pixels are considered as points, and warping is implemented by interpolating neighboring pixels in a corresponding location of the previous frame. When a pixel in the previous frame contributes simultaneously to multiple pixels in the current frame, as highlighted in red, spatial correlation arises. Our main insight is to interpret a pixel value not as associated to a discrete point, but rather as the result of integrating an underlying continuously defined signal over the pixel area. Any continuous signal can be used as long as it is consistent with the integrated discrete observations. Under this integral formulation, warping a pixel forward amounts to integrating the underlying signal of the previous frame over the back warped pixel area. This integration domain can take any shape and does not have to align with the original pixels. So to ensure that no spatial correlation is induced, the underlying signal should ideally give independently sampled values when integrated over regions that do not overlap. To achieve this, we leverage the fact that the sum of independent Gaussian variables remains Gaussian. Each pixel can thus be considered as the sum of several independently sampled Gaussian subpixels. Conceptually, one can build this by recursively subdividing pixels into four smaller samples. At the limit, the underlying signal becomes a continuously defined white noise field. We dub this new way of thinking about a discrete noise sample the integral noise representation, and propose in our paper a simple way to generate higher resolution samples that are consistent with a given discrete initial noise. So how is noise warping implemented in practice? Well, in the continuous case, we represent the noise in the previous time step as a white noise field, which we then integrate over some back warped regions. In practice, we simulate the continuous field by a discrete higher resolution noise. A pixel shape is triangularized and warped back in time to obtain an approximation of the area covered by it using rasterization. The integral effectively becomes a sum. Now in reality, as we show in our paper, an additional Jacobian term is needed to account for both the local stretching of the warping and to correct the variance of the final sample. We dub the continuous formulation above the noise transport equation. A method is able to warp noise samples with complex vector fields without generating visible artifacts. We apply our noise warping to several video video tasks. For example, here we use SDEdit to render a synthetic bedroom scene photorealistically. Our method achieves much better temporal coherency. So in summary, we propose a theoretically grounded and practical method to warp a Gaussian noise while preserving its properties and showcase improved temporal coherency when using it to repurpose image diffusion models for video translation tasks. Thank you for listening, and please refer to the paper and the oral presentation for more information and results.